Lance, this is video of your putting stroke before I made any adjustments. Alicia, this is your putting stroke before I made any adjustments. The object of this putt is to make it, and I want you to be disappointed when you miss it. But if you become as good as the average pro, you're going to miss it half the time. So that tells us that putting must be pretty difficult if the best in the world are missing this half the time. Well, if they're only making this big percentage of the time, they're not making this putt very, very often, it would be an unreasonable expectation to expect to make that. Right. The object of this is to make it. The object of this has nothing to do with making it. I don't care if you make it. Right. What I care about is you don't three putt. You want to get it close enough that your next one's easy. So when I adjust your putting style, your technique right now, the sole purpose for me is to have you have good speed control. So speed control, hitting the ball with the right pace is the most important skill. You got your new grip. I feel like your elbow to tuck just a little bit. <laughs> this is critical. <laughs> I, I don't want, I want you to have a short long stroke as opposed to a long short. So we're going to take it back kind of slow and soft and then have a smooth acceleration. Slow through. So let me see you, and then I want you to hold your finish. I don't want you to swing and then pull it back. Swing and hold. Whenever your putter completes its stop, hold it there. So don't let, don't pull it back. Hold it there for a moment or two. Hold it right there. Now you're, that's a little long. So let's shorten that back, uh, that follow through a little bit. Okay. Okay. Hold it. Good. Good. If I brought, you know, one of the LPGA or PGA pros up here and I said, I want you to put it to that hole. If you don't make it, I want you to make sure it stopped pretty close. They don't know how hard to hit it. They're the best in the world and they don't know how hard to hit it. They have to guess how hard to hit it. Just like we do. But they guess better than we do. The best opportunity to remember the of force is the moment after, not five minutes later, but the moment after you hit it. As soon as you struck it, the, that feeling, the force, the sound, everything about the sensory impact needs to be just shot into your brain behind the curtain, into your subconscious. You're not consciously going to do this. Your subconscious partner needs to have that moment of stillness to just remember it and think about it. When you shoot a free throw, don't you know as soon as it leaves your fingertips it's a swish? I mean, and you also know it's going to hit the front rim. Those two things are very distinct in your memory. And so you need to develop that kind of sense here. Putt hole look. You want to hit the putt and do not watch the ball roll away. Because then your attention is on the visual information of the ball. It's going to go in the hole. It's going to go in the hole. And so your subconscious uh, partner didn't have any chance to rip, well, well, what force did it feel like? I don't care, I just wanna watch to see if it's gonna go in the hole. So you wanna have a putt hole look where you putt the ball and, and hold your finish, you can square to that, hold, and then look. Hold, and then look. So you're gonna hit this first putt, I want you to hold and not look. Okay. Don't ever look up because I'm going to have you in the second place without it.
Let me, I gotta put that on video. Very good, both of y'all had a great, if you can throw a hula hoop over the three ball, that's called a cluster drill. Where you try to hit three balls with the exact same stroke, and you look, if they're clustered together, that's evidence that you did. Lance on the left was your putting stroke before we made adjustments, and on the right was your new putting stroke. And uh, on the left, you had uh, your forefinger of your right hand kind of going down the shaft, and so we did make a grip change. And uh, you have now a reverse overlap, so you're wrapping that forefinger under the grip, but you're also getting your hands a little closer together so they work as a unit, and that uh, the left forefinger is uh, laying on top of the little finger of the right hand. And so you have what is called a reverse overlap. Let's look at your stroke on the left. You had a tendency to start turning your head immediately at impact. And that that caused some issues. You as you turned and looked, it, it also you came out of your posture. As you continued to uh, you, and you didn't hold your finish. You had a tendency to pull it back, what we call recoil the putter back, like like this. And now your new stroke on the right, with your new grip, you kept much more st stable in your stroke. As you came through, you kept your eyes still down. So you're still looking down even after you come to a complete stop. And you hold that finish. Much better stroke. Okay, Alicia, on the left was your original stroke before I made adjustments, and on the right was your new stroke. Let's take a look at the original stroke. Going to mark where the end of the backswing is and the follow-through. So you had that long backswing and very short follow-through. You just kind of popped the ball, and uh, we changed that a little bit. And you also had the, the old grip where the forefinger was down the shaft. Now let's look at your new putting stroke and you have a much better grip. And as you go back, your backswing is here and a much longer follow through. So that's a very good stroke. Also, you had a tendency to turn your eyes and watch the ball and then recoil this putter back and not hold that finish. Now you're hitting through the ball with your eyes down and you're holding that finish. Much better stroke. One of the things that uh, I'm going to want you to continue to work on is setting up with a little bit more bend in your elbows so you're tucking them in a little bit. Here's Tiger set up to putt and you can see how he has his elbows flexed just a little bit they're kind of tucked into his sides and you have fairly straight arms. Here's Lydia Ko who just turned pro on the LPGA Tour. She's only 16 years old and she's already won twice. In a few years she'll dominate the tour I think because she has a great swing but she also has a great putting stroke and she adopts the, the solid standard fundamentals of good putting but she'll tuck those elbows in. So you have a lot more control if you flex your elbows a little bit and tuck them in. 